This week's episode of the Totally Rad Show is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. And TradePub.com. And Netflix. I'm going to say it again. And Netflix. And Netflix. <laughs> Here we go, Jeff. Here we go, Jeff. Let's see it. Let's see it, Jeff. Here we go, Jeff. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it, Jeff. Let's see it. Here we go, Jeff. All right. All right, batting, batting, man, Jeff. Here we go. Let's see some batting, Jeff. Let's see some batting, Jeff. Here we go, Jeff. Time Loop is stuck in 82 and must be rescued. They need our heroes to discuss the latest news and give their reviews of games and movies too. Sure hope you're not confused. We swear this is all true. Not just the premise to the Totally Rad Show. Episode number 37, I'm Alex Albright. I'm Jeff Canada. I'm Dan Traxenberg. Atelier totally Rad Show is your weekly dose of all things rad. We go down to the local Subway sub shop, pick out all the rad cold cuts. Maybe put a little mustard on we there. We need to be sponsored by the people that give us the rad. <laughs> we should! <laughs> and we make a s- s- giant hoagie of radness for you to sup We're on. sandwich artists. And we, we, end up, we end up losing weight. We do. Look at that. It's great. <laughs> We're like Jared. Yeah. How uh, awesome is our Our background, background is amazing. Yeah. TJ Severin sent that in, which is... I, and, you gotta. If you can you gotta spot, go to the website because it's yeah. all. Each of the different letters are from a different rad thing. And a lot of them are things that we've talked about on the yes. show. Yes. The shields in there somewhere. All right. No Why more. No more hinties. Man. No more hinties. Sorry. He did two hinties. I did. Yeah. But yeah, we can. You can download our, the background from our website, totallyradshow.com, and then you That's can right. scan, and check it yourself, and look yeah. for cool things. Jeffrey, did you have anything you want to talk about? Yes. Hmm. Okay. I just, Here's the so thing. So you can't do that on television, wasn't it? Yeah. Hey, hey Jeffrey. <laughs> Hey, Jeffrey. And he's like, no. And then, shh, water. But see, I didn't say no. I said, oh, he said, well, he said it. Oh. He gets smashed in. I hope Steve just I have been a very, very <laughs> jealous man for a while. I will come clean about the green-eyed monster in my pants. What? No, nope, not in my <laughs> pants. That's the um, That's the one eye. I, I hope it's, uh, I I was was not it's a green-eyed green monster, sorry. but. I mean, yeah. in my soul is what I meant to say. Your, your soul pants. Uh, <laughs> so our good friend Kevin Rose, your co-host on Dignation, yes. was lucky enough to be oh, on like, a cover of going? Captain America comic. Yes. This is awesome. With my Dignation shirt that I designed, which I'm very excited about. <laughs> yes. That's my little then piece of that. Then you and, uh, and Kevin would both got to be in American Splendor. Yes. Because our friend Ed, who we focused on last week, we yeah, talked yeah, to yeah. last week. Yeah. Super excited. Thank I, you. as a lifelong comic book fan and superhero nerd, w- was, was never in like a comic book. so, so jealous. Yeah. Well, our buddy, Mike Norton, yeah. who we met Mike at Comic- <laughs> who we met at Comic Con, who also draws um, all new Adam for DC Comics, a superhero yes. comic for DC Comics. Yes, yes. Last month, put a character in the comic, just kind of a random school kid in a school scene, wearing our shirt. Epic. This month. Coming out tomorrow, when this episode releases, tomorrow, December 5th, (laughs) Comic Book Wednesday, all new Adam number 18 comes out, and it has all of us (laughs) in a scene in a superhero comic. What? It's probably the greatest day of my life. Well, what you're not saying is next month, (laughs) 
We are the villains of that comic book. Oh, uh, you no, wish. No, no. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is amazing. Bummed out now. He's like, he did something Mike. amazing for us. And you're, he's like, oh, well. Mike makes his villains, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, Thank dude. you so, so much, dude. Mike. Thank you so, so much. If you're a comic book fan, if, even if you're not. Even if you're an art fan. If you find yourself in a comic book store, yeah. pick up all new Adam number 18. Yeah. I think it would be awesome yeah. to, if their sales bumped a bunch because our fans, even if they're not comic book fans, ran out and bought it's a $3 comic, three yeah. bucks. Dude, that's support, nothing. Support the show. Support Mike. Well, I think it's awesome. Awesome. I love cool it. it. It blew my mind. It's really one of the greatest moments ever. Well, thank you, Mike. And how about we get ready to do a show? Yeah! talking about this week is The Mist. Uh, Stephen King's The Mist. Frank Darabont's The Mist. Um, Frank Darabont... The Mist. <laughs> Frank Darabont um, <laughs> sort of made his career off of adapting Stephen King. He did Shawshank Redemption, mm -hmm. which is like most people's favorite movie of all time. Yeah. Um, and The Green Mile. Um, and uh, and he also did... He started out doing schlocky horror films. Yeah, and I think like something three or something like... Well, it's funny. I thought he did the Nightmare on Elm Street that we all love, so that, is, which is Nightmare on Elm Street three. Yeah. So, Dream Warriors. He wrote Dream Warriors. That's funny. Yeah. Yes. Because I remember I was talking about this to a friend of mine, and they were like, she, "He did some movie that was like the third of one of those movies." Yeah. It was Nightmare Three. Yeah. So okay. he's done the non-horror Stephen King, and he's done some old-school horror flicks, and now he does a straight-up Stephen King horror flick. Yeah. yeah. Um, it stars uh, Thomas Jane, uh, Marsha Gay Harden. Mm -hmm. Andre Brower. Laura Holden. And a Laura, Laura, Lauren Holden. Okay. She's the blonde chick. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Silent right. Hill. Oh, she's in Silent Hill. She oh, played the, the blonde the super. Cop. What? In, uh, we can't I... talk about Silent Hill. Okay. So, um, <laughs> we'll talk about it later. Yep. Mist is uh, small town USA, Maine, because mm -hmm. that's where all everything King, Stephen King's yeah, place. Yeah, yeah. Um, and a terrible mist rolls into town, and there's people stuck in a supermarket trying to survive. What is in the mist? Has it, have, have any of you guys read the short story? I did when I was maybe twelve. Yeah, me and I too. I don't remember it at all. Did you? Me too. Yeah. You read it when you were mm -hmm. a kid. Yeah. Um, I know that Jeff was very excited for this movie. Very. Uh, so, uh, how did the movie live up to it? Um, on every level, exceeded my expectations. It is phenomenal. I loved this movie <clears throat> from the word go. Um, I thought. I, first of all, I love movies where it's it's sort of one location. We trap you there, and you and you gotta figure out how to get out. First of all, camera work by the shield. Camera work by the shield. <laughs> you can't can't argue with greatness. Um, it's it's the performances are great. The story is great. It it is. We were talking on the Halloween episode about how um, what horror movies get us nowadays. This, I was squirming in my seat. So creepy, crawly, it really gets you. But better than all of that stuff, it's about something. It, it, it really is about what fear does to people, which is very relevant topic for the times that we're living in, and also is a relevant to topic just for human beings. Uh, there's one of my favorite quotes in the world, I, Honestly, can't even remember who it's by, but is um, the only thing people care about is great courage or great beauty. I think it's like Uta Hagen mm -hmm. or somebody mm -hmm. said that. Mm -hmm. um, and this movie is about small moments of courage, which is the reason that I was probably bawling through the whole thing. <laughs> I mean, it, it literally is just ordinary people being courageous moment to moment, and it's awesome. Huh. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, well, we saw the panel at Comic Con and saw a scene from it and you know got to hear the 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 genius that is Thomas Jane talk about the movie. Uh, yeah. so I had z I was so not excited to see this movie and it it zombie movies up to this point horror movies are all fictional accounts of what would happen if the world was ending. This is a movie that tells you exactly what would actually happen. I mean, the movie is amazing. Awesome. From beginning like to end, it's such a slow development. You, you, you feel so star. All the characters are so well-defined that you care for every single one of them, even if you've just seen them in the background, and then they step forward and say one line, and you're like, I love that guy! You know what I mean? Yeah. 
amazing, uh, I mean, just all around. Made me think that maybe I should be watching The Shield because the camera work was That's what made you think that? Yeah. Not me screaming no, for the last six months? I need to <laughs> um, So I really loved it. I, I you know, it, it's a disturbing film. It's not just scary as in like, whoa, something's in the blah, blah, blah. It's disturbing. Like, it makes you feel like uncomfortable and like, I, 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 this is fucked up, what's happening now. But I think overall, pff, enjoyed it. Dan? <clears throat> um, yeah, wow. This, I, I so feared much, this would happen. <laughs> I feel exactly, I couldn't feel more opposite on specific and the specific things you talk oh, about. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, he's, um, he's oppositing it. I, I, I kind of hated the movie. Whoa! <laughs> I thought oh, was, no, I, you're I hurting thought it was, my soul. I thought All it was right. terrible. I thought the movie was terrible. Um, first minute, I loved. Um, I was like, wow, this is, this is Drew Strugin. This is like... What? The artist, he's drawing the posters. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. is in the background. Yeah. I'm like, I love Dark this movie. Tower. The yeah, opening yeah, yeah. shot, I'm into. Yeah. The, the next, the following scene, when the first lines are uttered, I thought the performances were terrible. Oh, um, wow. I thought that the exposition was so clunky and overt, and, like, the, the, the dialogue was completely, nothing was character-driven. It was all forced on by the plot. It was like, why don't you go speak to the neighbor who you've had problems with the, uh, since, for the past few years? Oh, hon, I don't really want to talk to him. And then the neighbor, wow, are you really going to talk to Mr. Jones? He's a lawyer who's been on trial for many years for trying to deal with him as a thing. I never heard that about Mr. Jones. It's, it's, it, the, my, the camera work I thought was so distracting and faux natural. It was like sometimes perfect and wow. steady cami and then swinging over and zooms. On, on people that were speaking in such, like, theatrical pentameter. Like, like, like hmm. it, it, my feelings about the movie can be summed up in one image where uh, someone's trapped on the other side of the, the glass and he's, he's getting killed and he puts his hand up on the, on the glass and it's not like there's bloody handprints on the thing and it's all, like, clawing. There's just one handprint with dripping blood and it's, like... T- perfect there to be iconic imagery as opposed to what would really be in that moment. Hmm. Wow. Oh, I'm devastated. Well, I'm, I'm not devastated. I'm not devastated in any stretch of imagination because I can see... I don't see... feel this way about you. I feel well, this but, way about no. the mess. Well, the other thing I want to say was, <clears throat> as I was watching the mess, I could see how people will have that opinion. You know, I mean, it's very theatrical. It's wow. very, like, sm- you know, one-act play which is why when I was... I literally finished it, and it's really funny that you didn't like that shot style because, to me, that shot style is what I think of when I th- when I try to think of what you're... What Aesthetic you want to as- aspire yeah. to to be a director. Is that, like, dirty, you know, sloppy zooming... It's not Paul Greengrass, dude, but it wasn't well, that. Well, but, okay, but so... Maybe it wasn't. And that B-movie out, shot? There was a B-movie shot that's, like... Following the insect flying around, oh, swooping. Man. I, I, th- I, I don't know. When we talked about um, mm. Thirty Days of Night, and I t- and I criticized it for the uh, Anne Frank scene, which didn't yeah. create any sense of tension. Yeah. I felt that was exactly the opposite of what this movie is. Doing. Yeah. I felt Not, the tension um, at every moment. Yeah. I really wondered what I would do in that situation. Yeah. And I love movies that that put an everyman in that kind of. And I have to say, I was shocked wow. at Thomas Jane. I was actually he really was impressed. Great. In the back, the first back scene in the with the generator room, I was like, dude, this is the best thing I've seen him do since '61. And um, and I was really worried about it. Andre Brower. I mean, the guy's fucking. Great. The whole cast, yeah, I, I thought, thought he was, was amazing. Terrible. I thought Andre Brower was terrible. Wow. Wow. Well, let's move on. It's, it was, yeah, we just yeah. totally oh, agree to movie. disagree. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, totally switching gears, um, they uh, just sort of announced John Singleton, uh, his next movie is, is, is called Executive Order Executive Six? Executive Decision? No, Executive <laughs> Order Six. It's a genre movie about a small town in the snow uh, dealing with some sort of horror hmm. that they discover is aliens from a plane crash. Well, I, thing I versus loved, 30 days of I loved versus... Executive Order 5, so I'm <laughs> sure this will be fantastic. Um, why I'm that bringing was the his... topical one, right? <laughs> I never, I haven't seen his latest movie. I never saw Baby Boy or Four Brothers. I love Boys in the Hood I and Higher Learning. Yeah. yeah. Um, I didn't really care for Higher Learning. I did see the Fast and Furious mm. movie. I don't think he's done these genre movies very well. So it's supposed to be Aliens in the Snow? Yeah. It's Crisis, the movie? <laughs> but yeah. Crisis in the Snow? Yeah. The end of it is. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So, but what, what I think is interesting, I, I don't mm. think he's really... Boys in the Hood was a great movie. Yeah. 
Yeah, I Was agree. it great? I mean, like, I'm sure... I think are I see there, what you're saying. Was it great, great because of is him? It, yes. No, you know what I mean? was it just a great movie that he, he was, was showing in. us. And, well, also, he was doing... Boys Know was great because we hadn't seen movies like... We hadn't yeah, seen yeah, yeah. Right. that freaking content. We hadn't yeah. seen that neighborhood showing right. the way with that brutality or that honesty. Yeah. So now when he's not doing that, is he a great filmmaker? Do you think that there's films I that... I think this is a theme that you come to a lot. I yeah. find you bring... You, you come to this idea a lot of, like, what would the movie it? have been great anyway? Because yeah. this one person, who is it just recently yeah, you, you brought up, like, you're like, that ago. movie was amazing, but then they've had these duds. Well, Donnie Darko. Well, no, 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 no. it was something well, else. We didn't like Donnie Darko, but it was that, but there was somebody else that you were saying that like, they did one movie, and then several movies after that. Oh, so Mike good. Newell, who I was wrong Mike about, Newell. by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah you say, can say it. I was wrong about Mike <laughs> Newell. He did not do the good Harry Potter that we liked. He did Goblet of Fire, the fourth one right. that I thought was terrible. So that's all right. right. It wasn't anything. Special. But he didn't do that awesome one. Oh, so he did Prince chocolate. of Persia. Oh, no cancer. No. But no, but it is an interesting. Co- what's the thing? It Love inside the Okay, but, but but it's an interesting <laughs> idea to talk about. Like, is is the material? Does the material make the artist? seem better than the artist actually is. Yeah, like did yeah. he just not F it up? Did he right. just not F up Boys in the Hood? Right. But he That's wrote it too, so he had something to say, but when he's doing these movies where there's nothing to say. Well, I'm not, I will say I'm not excited about any kind of snow monster movie. <laughs> not, lately, we've seen so many. Well, we're getting another one. We're getting white out based on the graphic yeah. novel no, coming and, out soon. Uh, seriously, go find IPs somewhere else. Actually, I'm really interested to talk about IPs in the next segment. I have some IP talk to do. <laughs> well, 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 let's well, well. go. <laughs> I don't know. We've driven all evening from Los Angeles down the 405. In the face. He did. It, it, was was like, it means it's time uh, to wake up. Come on, buddy. Come on. So we're here in the evening, punchy, actually quite slappy. <laughs> And we're getting prepared for the San Diego Rocket Race. Yes, Team Totally Rad Show is going to participate this year in the Rocket Team Race. Team TRS. Uh, so we're excited. We, we, this year we found out that the, uh, the theme is t- uh, time, time warp. So we've been boning up on our, uh, our time travel yep. sci-fi knowledge. Back to the Future expert. Yes. Doctor Who. Doctor Who. The Chinese guy to the galaxy. We have Meg behind the camera instead of Steve. Yes. Steve is going to be our uh, go-to. He's going to be our phone a friend. Phone a friend. It's basically a giant scavenger hunt. Yes. Right. But all sci-fi all, trivia right. puzzles. It's not really a scavenger hunt. It's it's a clue-based. It's like it's like a trivia. Yeah. Um, but we're super excited. It's like uh, I'm going to say 1:30 in the morning, just because that's way more impressive than 11:30. <laughs> that's what it really is. And we're super tired. and Want to go to bed. But we will see you at Balboa Park. guide you to another clue that's somewhere in San Diego. This will guide you to yet another clue in San Diego and so on and so forth until you reach a clue that will lead you to the finish line. The clues do have some science fiction trivia. Yay. Yay. You will still re- be required to take a mandatory lunch break. The lunch break may vary in time. The, the teams that get there later on, we may try and help speed them forward. So uh, we might give them a lunch like break. On your mark, Captain! Yes, sir! Oh, look at that! Go! 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 Forget the breast cancer. Open it. <laughs> <laughs> this contraption shares its name with a 1945 Broadway musical, which in 1999, Time Magazine named the best musical of the 20th century. Start on mission. mission. Move right one. If you see a ship there, add one to each of these. Holy crap! <laughs> add, add one to each of these. 23. There's a pen. I got one. Okay. Let's just all just be calm. 23. Five, nine. What is it? Then what? Move right two more. If you see a big battle, no big battles. Yeah, go ahead. So we don't add. And move right three more. If you see a historical lodging, subtract five. Move right one. If this shows an aviation, yes. yes. Cross. No. Cross okay, out so the even numbers. Okay, so no, 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 no. If Emmett Brown was killed by Syrians, subtract three. Oh, he never died. 
And now we're adding up these numbers, and the numbers correspond to letters. So we're running down the letters, and we see what words it makes for our next clue. This is way off. This is the first clue, dude. Using this time machine's imagery and some other knowledge, you'll find your first checkpoint. We have to, I mean, what's less than two miles from here? So we just broke the key. Basically, we have all these words and we're trying to, or at least letters, and we're trying to unscramble them like Robert Langdon into some clue. No one could do it. We're staring at it. We're driving around yeah, trying to see the other groups. We go back to the starting point and Jeff goes, maybe it goes down. Maybe the words aren't random. Maybe yeah. it goes down. And we literally, we, as soon as Alex starts reading it off, he goes, yeah. F, I, N, D. We were there. It was in. amazing. Find Serenity at the Dana Inn. Go east past the bridge. Go uh, no east past the bridge. There's a Firefly restaurant and bar. Firefly, yeah, it's it's like, it's right here, dudes. So, I've got the clue here. All okay. right. Uh, I can give it to you, and you can go to the next location. But you guys, um, you're a little behind. Ha! So, what I, <laughs> you guys want to continue racing? Yes. I'm going to tell you the shortcut to get to where everyone's sitting. A break right now. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. God. Go to Horton Plaza. Okay. And look above the giant clock. Okay. Turn okay. the giant clock and look above it, right? Okay. okay. Thanks, Thanks, bro. Thank you. Thanks for waiting for us. How's it going? Yeah. Oh my god. That's <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> okay, so the clue that we're not going to do. Holy shenanigans. Oh, it's all serenity. Oh, I hate it. We gotta do it anyway. I can't believe the one fucking clue that I was going to be the most useful. Oh, you were gonna rock that Did one. you hear? Did you see how quickly I just did I that? I saw how you did that. I didn't even have to finish every question. He's so proud of himself, but we stole that and from now him by I, sucking. And now Okay, so there have been a couple of huge AAA titles that have come out in the last couple of weeks, and since uh, we had Thanksgiving, we didn't get a chance to review them. So today, we're going to review uh, Mass Effect, which is BioWare's newest uh, Xbox 360 exclusive title. These are the guys that brought us Baldur's Gate and Neverwinter's Nights and uh, KOTOR. KOTOR, Knights of the Old Republic, the Star Wars R um, RPG. And this is their newest grand space opera epic. You are... Um, an either a male or female RPG in space, flying through the galaxy, saving the universe. Did they do KOTOR 2 or was that another company? That was another company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. They um, did Jade Empire. They did Jade Empire, Jade Empire after Empire, KOTOR. Right. right. Um, so this is usually where I would throw it to one of you guys to find out what you think. Mm. I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to tell you what I think because this, uh, I'm going to start this one because this is a game, I think if you guys remember in the... Um, are like post E3, yeah, what game are you most excited oh, about? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like Mass Effect, Mass Effect, Mass yeah, Effect. Yeah, and I was Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed, that yeah. game sucks. Yeah, I was Little Big Planet and Mass Effect. Yeah. Well, and I was excited for Drake's Uncharted. So. I know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, well, this yeah. is like the yeah. next, the third, like, yeah. this is us. Yes. Yeah. Um, I love role playing games. I put a hundred hours into um, Oblivion. Um, Oblivion. Love, love, love these <laughs> games. Which is why it pains me so much to say, how much of a disappointment Mass Effect is to me. I have been reading a lot of reviews on this game online, and they're 9s and 9.5s, and I am wondering what game these people were playing. Because I could not have been more disappointed by what I ended up playing. It's the the game is designed as a um, as a, a role playing game where you search the galaxy, but also their combat system is a lot like Gears, Gears of War. Of War yeah. It's that sort of almost real time go behind cover and shoot stuff. I think the combat system is broken. I think it's com it's terrible. They do an an incredibly bad job of giving you feedback of letting you know when you're being hit. It's inexcusable to me that there is a game out on the 360 that does not give you rumble when you're being shot. I, oh, I, oh, I, I didn't even even think about that. that. Yeah. I died a thousand times in this game, and I suspect a lot of the difference in how people approach this game, play this game, feel about this game, has to do with what class they selected. Because I played oh. a Sentinel, which is sort of the magic user slash tech guy, and I think in combat is a pussy. I think that's okay. designed to be like the magic user gets killed a lot. Well, I found the game extremely frustrating and almost unplayable. I played through the whole thing, finished the game, but I did not enjoy the experience. 
I found, I thought the um, side quests were shallow. Um, the, the dialogue system is really cool. I, I mean, what I wanted from this game was Oblivion plus cool dialogue system. Oblivion in is in space. Yeah. <laughs> and Oblivion is a, a far <clears throat> superior game to this. Um, the save system is is disgusting. The autosave system. Seconded that. Terrible. Yeah. Triple that. Yeah. The, the, Don't have the, an auto autosave if you're not going to autosave every fucking five I, I, seconds. Exactly. I saved myself. I started doing seconds. that towards the end. I meant every, to tell you that. Every two yeah. steps. It was like I was playing a PC game from 1992. Yeah. I was saving every two combat, steps. save this yeah. Yeah. And if you forget, you're, you're screwed. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yes. Well, no, I agreed. It's terrible. Yeah. I, I mean, a uh, yeah. couple more things. The driving sequence. Mm. Driving sequences felt like you're playing a, a radio controlled car. The physics are completely crap. Even the dialogue system, which I think is the coolest part of the game, and I think I'm surprised it took so long for them to innovate in this way, mm. it, it, they give you false sense of choice where I would go back and replay sections to see that th the three different questions all resulted in him saying the exact same thing. Right. Anyway, Alex, what did you think of Mass Effect? Well, uh, <laughs> this... It's an interesting game for me to talk about because I really tried to get as into the game as I could um, because, you know, like, with, I didn't play through Oblivion. When I did play it, I had fun, but I would never... It's not the kind of game that I'd sit down and play, you know, 20 hours of. So I really, like, forced myself. I was like, I have to play tons of this game. And I went through, like, the three main planets. I was just going to, like, the last big thing. So I'm, like, 75% through the game. Yeah. Like, powered through. Right. Um, and I have to say... I actually really enjoyed it. I mean, I hate it. No, that's good. No, I'm glad you did. I, it was, like, different from me. For me, that, I mean, there are definitely things. What saving, are you playing as? I'm a Vanguard. Right. So I'm Soldier shooty slash, I'm magic shooty that's slash I'm throwy. That's what I did. Yeah. Um, there are a few things that I actually, at first, when I started playing, I was like, oh, my God, this is so stupid. And then by about halfway through, I was like, no, 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 it's genius. They, no numbers pop up over people's heads, Right. No XP pops up over your head. Right. Oftentimes, it I didn't pops even, up in the right hand corner. Right, would, but you, I'm doing shit. I'm not. That's business for later. You know what I mean? Oftentimes, I wouldn't even know that I leveled. Which at first I was like, "What? The, I fucking level? Why didn't that? Why didn't they make a fucking big? Yeah, da, 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 da. yeah. <laughs> Long, <laughs> right? Yeah. Where's the swirling gold of genius <laughs> in time? And then I realized it's genius. Because when I was playing KOTOR, when I play all the other things, I'm always thinking, I need to get to the next level. I need to get to the next level so I'm more powerful. I have to unlock that box so I can blah, blah, blah. With this game, it was always like, oh my god, this is really fun. I'm having fun. Oh, gotta kill these guys, blah, 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 blah. End of a thing. And I'm like, oh, I need to go check where I am. And I hit it, and I'm like, oh, squad, boom. And I was like, oh, cool, I can do this now? Oh, great. Oh, she can do that, and I can do, oh, you know what I mean? It totally changed mm. my sort of Pavlovian response to the leveling system. Interesting. I was not seeking to level. I was seeking to play the game, and I was excited when I leveled. Interesting. Which totally changed me for... for I agree the vehicle shit should have been taken out. It's just stupid. It's like so springy and like, oh, look, what the fuck it's, am I doing? I don't even know. It's Moon Patrol. It is. It's Moon Patrol huh. 3D. Yeah. The graphics are really, really good, except there's a, that weird snapping in and out of textures. So like when the conversations start, yeah. it's like That's looks bad huge. and then it snaps yeah, I mean, in. I know, it's huge. Uh, yeah. I have to say I really, really, really enjoyed this. It's the only RPG that I've played through single player in a long time. That may be the only reason why I enjoy it is because I really do enjoy them, but I just never seek them out. But um, I didn't have as bad an experience at all. What about you, Dan? Interesting. I, I'm loving, I'm digging this section because I, both of you said very interesting things that I didn't think about. Um, and many that I did because <laughs> uh, I, loved, I loved the game. I love playing it. Wow. But, um, well, no but. Uh, I love the, the comment system. I agree. In the beginning, I was like, this is not working for me. I figured it and out. And then yeah. all of a sudden, you, once you, I think once you get more abilities or or you just wrap your brain around it i loved when i realized that oh I, these are all things i can switch to and yeah. use right now and i can throw some guy and right. then shoot him and i had a lot of fun yeah. using that and you can command so, your other guys to do stuff and then yeah the yeah. second i started using their abilities yeah. I, it clicked for, when i was dying all the time and i had all these difficult battles i was like this is fun i get to figure out the perfect strategy to yes. win this battle yeah ah this is cool um the the art style is gorgeous. I agree. It, it reminds, character, right. The character design. The, it reminded yeah. me of the con when you've seen the documentaries of the making of Star Wars. The original concept art. Oh. I think the guy's name was Ralph 
Macquarie, remember because Christopher Macquarie, yeah. Ralph Macquarie, something like that. I think that's what this game. It looks like old school sci-fi, and the score, Blade Runner, yeah, so Blade Runner, it's 80s like Vangelis, music. love it, or Tangerine love Dream. It. Yeah. It's all synthy, which is such a yeah. bold choice, and I love the tone. That I love the atmosphere I'm in when I'm listening to that and playing this game. Um, and Maria Sirtis. Uh, um, uh, Council Troy, yeah, yeah, uh, um, was Seth Green. Seth I mean, Green, you, the, yeah. the Keith professional, Keith David, yeah, fucking. the professional voice acting really pops off, and, and it actually, you can see which ones are real actors and the other ones right. are just voice. Um, I agree with the the milk control car is the perfect analogy. That yeah. I wish that that wasn't in the game. That yeah. sucked. Yeah. Um, but I love. I, I, I wish I would. I definitely play more RPGs if they all were like this. If yeah. They all felt. I, the decision making, I mean, there's some pivotal moments where you have to make decisions, and I sat there for five minutes like, what the F do I choose? And That's I can't cool. wait for us to talk about yeah. the choices we made in I, a game. I killed people I, get, I didn't want to kill, but they started shooting me, and I was like, <laughs> what, how did I become and, a bad man to you? And trying to get laid... <laughs> Me, it's, I like, so it's, like Peter, it's like Peter Molyneux's thing about the dog. Yeah. Like, I cared so much more about the game when I like I would bring her with me on missions. And, yeah. and I know what you mean. I, I played, I replayed certain things too and saw that the same. But I think certain places, the different choices of what you say do affect right. what happens, but not everywhere. So I think it's sort of like a magician sleight of hand, like always giving me the choice, never knowing. And I and I, it would f me up while I played. I was like. I didn't want to be yeah. bad here. I wanted to be good. And even though I knew that maybe it wouldn't really matter, I knew that some places it would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I didn't Let know. me just say, okay, the, I thought all of the upgrades and all the things were completely generic and unnecessary and lame. I mean, not unnecessary. They added st stuff, but they were completely generic and stupid. What? I, really? I never, what? ever, ever used money. Never had a need for it. I did, dude. Oh, I bought new buy. armor. You can, but but I was I got the 150 item limit so many times that I just like delete, delete, delete. The fact that you can't oh, really? group things and then turn them into omni gel and you have to do it each one that individually. You can do retarded. it when you get them. The fact that there isn't yeah, an uh, overlay map that comes up, you got to go to the map screen and go back and go to the map screen and go back. I like that because I felt lost a lot and uh, I felt like this is so I don't many, know this place. Like, things that every other RPG does, and even every other um, uh, Bioware RPG does. Um, I felt that what you're talking, why make the, the combat system real time and Gears of War if it's not? If effectively, you well, can't play it that way. I kind of you have like to, it was a combo, but it's like you, you have to stop, you have to stop. Yeah. It, no. Like, like, every every combat for me started where they would come up over and I'd be like, oh shit, starting, boom. Exactly. I'm gonna do, but that was good, I liked that. I was like, I'm gonna do a throw here. I'm gonna have her do her at advanced overkill. She's gonna go ahead and do the sab advanced sabotage. And then I was like, all right, everybody ready? Wham! And shit started flying, and I was like, ducking behind start, shit. And then then I'm start running around and shooting. Yeah. And and then I, I guess I, the bumper. I'm the only one on the planet that didn't. Before we move on, real fast, I also felt the story was terrible. Yeah, the story was was it's video Star game Wars sci-fi. Yeah. It's Star Wars oh, meets no, Halo. Halo. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's a like it's and why? What's what's a Spectre? What, why is it cool that I'm a specter? There's no, there's yes, no. There's a whole bar that you get with all the different specter power-ups as you level. Oh, what do you mean? There's a whole what? specter yeah. bar. I got, I got, get people back from the dead is what I got. Unity, which helps Yeah, me dude, a lot. I use helps fucking lot. Unity all the time. Specter is clearly an analog for Jedi. No, 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 that's, uh, this is really funny. I'm, I'm glad that you just said that because I wholeheartedly disagree and when you guys were talking about it before I even played the game, you were like, well, I just got my, I just became a Spectre. And I was like, what, what? And you were like, oh, that's the Jedi. And then when I played through, I was like, Jeff's wrong. That, that has, this has nothing to do with well, Jedi. What you're saying, it's just a super spy? You, no, it's like their Navy SEAL. It's like, now I'm a Navy SEAL. It has nothing they, to do, because I was like, what, what, where's my power that I get because now I'm the Jedi? And I was <laughs> like, you use your power? Yeah, dude, you I'm a crazy power. Jedi. But I was like, I totally disagree. It's not analogous to a Jedi in any sense of the word. It's I wish analogous it was. to the Navy SEAL. It's an yeah. Well, but maybe you just wished that it was and but, hoped that it was, and then it disappointed you. For me, I was now an, SA, an SAS. I was yeah. now the guy that could go down and they're like, what the fuck are you doing here? You're just an army guy. And you're like, no, I'm in the elite group that has maybe five anyway, people. We have, uh, we have to move on. Yeah, we I know. We got a whole nother. Forever, but I, I guess I'm the only one on the planet that didn't. But I, well, I was going to say, for real quick, before we move to Drake's portion, I, uh, playing these two games made me realize that George Lucas is the king of IPs. Because I was playing this game going, wow, this would be so much better if it was Star Wars. And I was playing Drake's going, wow, this is so much better if, I, if it was Indiana, Indiana Jones. Jones. Right. And they're the same. I mean, it's the same Well, game. Drake's uh, fortune is from Naughty Dog. It's Uncharted, Drake's fortune. And it, uh, these are the guys that brought us Jack and Daxter mm -hmm. and Crash Bandicoot. Ah, yeah. 
Yeah, gr great platforming games. And this is a kind of a departure for them. It's the first game of theirs on the PS3. And it is... It is... The PS3 exclusive... PS3... Uh, supposed to be the PS3's Halo, you know? Well, I don't know if System it would go that far. That's what, I mean, that's what they said back in the day. Yeah. I actually think it is. I, I oh you so now you're gonna start this every time, Mr. No, 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 go ahead, no, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, no. <laughs> you you, you <laughs> challenged me. You said, "Well, I then because some people are saying." <laughs> what do you think, Dan? What do you think of Uncharted? Okay, uh, so this was my most anticipated game right. of the year. Um, yeah, you were talking about trying to get the yes. rights to make yeah, it. Yeah, I would. You love I want, Prince of Persia. I, I love know? in terms of the games. I love that, and and in terms of genre of movies, I I wish I could make this movie. I wish. I think this is as good as as many movies. I agree. I well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I I I've never played a video game trying to get to cutscenes. Normally, cutscenes I'm dreading. This game, I, the game was not as cool as the cut. I, I love the story. I enjoyed the story. It was so well written, so well acted. It it blew away Mass Effect for me because everyone was talking about the performances of Mass Effect, whatever. Um, the game, not, it was fun, it was, it was cool, there was like cool moments, I didn't have a blast playing it. Hmm. Combat was a little bit rinse and repeat, um, wow. although it gets to a point when laser sighting happens where it's, a, it's, it's more fun, for, I had more fun playing it. Um, the animations and the graphics are all awesome, I think Assassin's Creed's all that was just a notch better hmm. animations mm, and graphically, really? but it's still gorgeous and, and it's nice to see things wow. green. But I felt like, man, I, it could would have been great if it was like we're in Amazon. I, I didn't love all the Toomey inside. I love then it'd be great oh. to be in like Greece, and then it'd be great. To, I love the really globe trotting experience. It felt perfect for this kind of game. Mm. Um, I, it, was, it was a little bit of a not as great. I didn't love, 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 but I really loved the best written game I've ever experienced. Alex? Uh, it's interesting. I, yeah, I'm going to say, you know, this, this is the, the type of game where if you have a PS3, you should buy this because there's really nothing else to buy. Uh, <laughs> I think, well, that's a ringing endorsement. Well, I mean, <laughs> it was a good game. It was fun. I didn't like it very much. I mean, it was just uh. sort of like... Uh, I thought that the animations were really cool when they worked, but because they were trying to be so, like, there's 150 animations, there were a lot of times where I was like, I'll just jump from here to there, and I'd go. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck was that? I know and I would, like, you couldn't tell what was climby. It, let, it like had, like, chalk outlines, and so you're like, oh, I guess that's climby. And I found myself doing this a lot. <laughs> And I was like, oh, I guess this is just a place where I can't, even though there's fucking boulders here, I can't, I'm not supposed to climb up here. Right. So I need to go find the thing that has the little ledge that I can go, hey, oh, yeah, psh, what, and get up, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, the combat to me was just like, pff, get gears. I mean, it's like everything's just gears. It's funny, Steve You gotta said slam that too. up against the wall, otherwise you just get your ass kicked. And it's okay, I mean, it's all right. And the story was all right. Oh, major problem, major problem, right? I am got the map, I'm like, oh dude, I'm fixing out the thing. The puzzles were really puzzles fucking were way easy. Too easy. easy. Yeah. Oh, but not only that, them. as soon as you unlock the puzzle, you open the door and you're like, oh, they already found a way to get in here because there's fucking more guys in here. What was the whole point of me like, quick, before they figure out where to go, down this little secret lore, oh. hey, we're, we're here already, bang, 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 bang. And I was like, so arbitrary, so uh -huh. like, we well, just happened to beat you to the thing that you're so excited. And then it's like, why did I even do that? I'll just follow where they blew holes in the wall to get in. Well, you and, and I, I guess, are going to disagree this week because I, <clears throat> I loved Uncharted. I loved every <laughs> second of playing it. I felt like it, it really, I think it has the best graphics of the year. Dude, the beginning boat sequence looked to me like blue, what did I call it? Blue Thunder? Stinger. Blue from Stinger the from the fucking Dreamcast. You're the water so was wrong so about bad that. in it, the beginning, just that beginning one. The rest is it, it is spectacular looking. I love the fact that it's focused on one. It, I, I hope everybody runs out and buys this because I want a sequel so bad. I, I want this so, game to sell. I'm, I want Jeff. Yes. Uncharted, <laughs> the next thing. Yeah. It, it's so much fun. It is literally a fulfillment of a childhood fantasy of playing an Indiana Jones movie. Because mm -hmm. you are, the, the main character is Kurt Russell. He's Harrison Ford. He's that guy. And it's so much fun. It's Nathan Fillion in a big way. Nathan Fillion oh, in a big yeah, way, exactly. Yeah. And the score in this game is also great. You know who did oh, it? Yeah, the score is great. Yes, from Firefly. Firefly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I did no, the score that was great. There was yeah. a lot of stuff, like even the menu, like the little yes. curly thing was great, but. I know, that was really Jean Luke. <laughs> <laughs> but there was, for me, 
<laughs> oh man, I, just, right, I thought that, I, I think this game is, it, it rocketed up on my best of list for the year. I think wow. literally <laughs> the, the, the puzzles were so much fun, I thought, yeah. they may have been a little easy, oh, but, but what's fun about them is it's like the end of the movie where you have to look at the notebook and make the, the it's leap of so faith and awesome. the penitent man will cross. Yeah, yes. yeah. Um, I have to say too, it really solves the Tomb Raider issue of like edging over to a cliff and then and then jumping at, like you know like yeah. everything had to yes. be perfect. This you're well, able but, to really feel well, but like. But I will say it was very Assassin's Creed. -y. It was very much like oh I'm supposed to go from here to there. I just held in the direction I wanted to go and kept repeatedly hitting A or X yeah, and uh, no matter what was falling or any of that true. shit. I was but never in, that, I was never in peril. Cool, like. It was, it was cool. I, I, I was just point. never in peril. With Tomb Raider, it was oh. like, if I, if I don't do this right, I'm not going to make it. But in here, it was just like, whatever. The fact that you Wait, can make it was great. But let me just say, the fact that we can make a Gears of War comparison to it, I feel it. I, I would rather more swashbuckle and yeah. adventure than gunplay in my Indian. Did you, did you, you know do the hand-to-hand -hand stuff? Hand-to-hand -hand yeah, stuff was broken to me. I would get close enough to it. It was All so right. broken. Well, let's get out of here. <laughs> Travelers, now that you've enjoyed a brief rest, it's time oh to resume your mission. Your next Stargate. journey will be several trips to the Stargate. Okay. So use posted information and the second sheet to decode the random bullet holes. Oh, yeah, you're going to hold that up? That's epic. Okay, hold on. Let me just see. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hold this. What do you think that is? R, E, R, or E? But I'm sure it's E. We already have an R. A, A, Arista. Presidia and Arista. Awesome. So wait, Fuck that's yeah. where we drive somewhere? Go to the lamppost at Presidio and Arista. Okay. Brown, where? Uh, D, T, M, I, D, T. Right, okay, so that can't be it. No. No, it's M, I, D, T. It's, the, it's O, L. No, it's not. It's, it's, it's the other. blue. It's not here. We're really bad we've, at this game. We, we've discovered some rules, which were trust the question, and always question your assumptions. We're eating a lot of humble pie. Yeah. And it tastes like dog shit. We thought we figured out the clue. No, we thought we, we, thought we, we, thought we tricked, broke, yeah, the, tricked crew, the clue. clue. The, clue. <laughs> the clue has now bent us over our car, pulled our pants down. We tried down. to outsmart the game, and the game outsmarted us. It sent us to the wrong place, and then we figured it out. We said, oh, we're idiots. The clue is smarter than us. We're idiots. This is the right it's answer. It's sending us this way. And we came here, and this is still not the right place. We have these glyphs. So that we decipher that. colors of houses that we drove by here to turn that into a word and it's something house. park. And we're just trying to figure out what park. Well, do you guys think we should call it? Are we at that point now? So we look at the letters again, we realize, oh wait, there's also an old trolley barn park. <laughs> and we're going there Which now. Which makes so much sense. We're going there now to Ooh, see how we're going to I gonna can't be... believe we didn't guess old trolley barn park. And, and of course we could end up there and realize we're wrong. It's actually Kensington Park, the fourth option. I so, blame Alex's hat. Hey! The one the one clue that we were able to answer the quickest was we were we did it on our free time. But it didn't even count. I don't know. Are you with the scavenger hunt? No? Did you oh. see other people here that were? No? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> That guy is not affiliated with it. This isn't it. Good lord. So how way late are we? I think you're the I think you're the last group to show up. The last group, okay. By so those how aren't long? for half an hour. You're the last team that's still in it. Come on, that's people that quit? Okay, this is flashback. Flashback. This is flash forward. This is flashback. Find this place in Hillcrest between Washington and Robertson. Is there a place called Flashback? Look at the green flash. So we're heading right now to Cabrillo, to the Cabrillo Bridge in Balboa Park. So this is where we've got now all four of us, we think, that get ready, I uh, have to do time warp to get a 10 minute bonus. Yes. So, so we may, we're totally dead last, but we may <laughs> gain 10 minutes. <laughs> ready? Yeah. It's just a jump just to the left. Uh, and then a step to the right. Put your hands on your hips. 
and your knees in tight. It's the pelvic thrust that really drives you insane. Travelers, you are so very near the end. Your yeah. final puzzle is before you. Oh. It will be easy too. Cool. With the correct answers and the help of two bronze plaques, you should have no trouble finding the finish line. I wonder who they are. So it says plaque. Oh, I see. So C. So plaque. Scientist, multiculturist, scientist? Dead Sea Scrolls. Huh? Dead Sea Scrolls. Oh, that's at the. That's at the I just saw a freaking sign for it. Where? Okay. The San Diego uh, Museum. Okay, where Museum. is that? Natural History Museum, maybe? Well, we've definitely gotten to know San Diego. All right. Other side of the building! We did it! We did it! Do it! Do it! Go on! Get through it! Work for the pain! Guys, that uh, the masterminds, the dastardly mastermind behind that set this whole thing out. Whole thing. <laughs> uh, how long have you guys been doing this? So second year. Second year. Yeah. All right. What made you think to do it? Like, yeah. Um, I've been doing, competing in, in a couple races like this, and then Dan you know, joined me in a, in a race like this, and we thought, you know, this is fun. We should do our own. We, we like we don't like running so much, so we yeah. thought this is the evil way to do it. We, we get to be more evil. <laughs> And less physical. <laughs> and, uh, uh, so do you guys just drive around and come up with ideas, or how does yeah, it work? Much. Yeah. yeah, we're both you know local to the area, so yeah. 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 So I mean, just, I've learned about a few places that I've never been to. Yeah, I mean, yeah. and we, we, I think you just basically picked out the old trolley barn off of a map. map. Yeah. And wow. Yeah, neither of us had ever been there before. That's funny. We that's how we it. figured it out. <laughs> it's our fourth <laughs> favorite park that we visited. Today. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys Thank so you so much. We, we will it. definitely be down here next year. Awesome. Thank you, sir. And hopefully, we'll do better than last place. Exactly. So before we say our find dues, we want to thank our sponsors. We'd like to thank Trade Pub, uh, which is a great website to get a whole bunch of free technical publications, as I'm sure you saw from many the outtakes, outtakes of the last episode. There's so many technical publications that you can get available. <laughs> they have uh, free subscriptions to eWeek, uh, Television Weekly, PC Mag, a whole bunch. Head over to tra uh, trs.tradepub.com. And you can get free subscriptions. And, you know, free subscription? I love free. That. Free is easy. I love technical publications. Technical publications. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, what uh, about uh, some sort of Netflix subscriptions? <laughs> if, you don't, if you don't already have Netflix, you are the goofy in the Mickey and Minnie conversation. <laughs> that Netflix was is like, fairly genius. Uh, <laughs> Netflix is like jargon. You know, like, oh, I'm going to Netflix it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, it's the Xerox of... On or mail Kleenex. renting, yeah. mail right. rentals. Yeah. Band-Aid. So you should have Netflix, uh, 75,000 titles, which is a crazy crap ton of titles, yes. HD, DVD, and Blu-ray. So not only should you buy Uncharted, but you can also now rent Blu-rays right. for your Format PSA. war? What format war? <laughs> not <laughs> a Netflix. Netflix. Uh, $4.99. I like Sony and you. Uh, $4.99 and up, which is pretty damn cheap. Uh, yep. But you get two weeks free trial. And their shipping centers all over the place, so you get them. And I, I, I don't know if yeah. you guys, we all, you, Netflix, you get them like the next day. So yeah. it's badass. And where would they go to sign up for that Netflix account? Oh, yes. Netflix.com <laughs> slash, www.netflix.com slash um, TRS. TRS. Is it just TRS? I believe it's TRS, <laughs> considering our, our teleprompter just switched okay. on. You know what's really also Let's cool? say it is slash TRS. Uh, is important. GoDaddy.com is very, very cool. Of course it is. Uh, if you're looking for a domain, you can get a domain name for $1.99, which is super cheap. Super duper cheap. Uh, and also, if you want an extra 10% off, if you want like hosting options, they have um, programs to help you set up stuff easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Web design programs. Uh, and if you want an extra 10% off, use our promo code, which is TRS1. So you go to GoDaddy.com. Com, use the promo code TRS1. It helps us. It helps you with 10% off. And it helps everyone's everybody. happy. It's so, it's good. It's so cheap and easy that, like, we, whenever we get it, we just had an idea the other day for something that we should get a website for. We just, and we're like, like we'll just get it on GoDaddy. Yeah. yeah. That's it's how it works. Easy. Mm -hmm. 
How about an email? Speaking of GoDaddy, who has helped us with our domain, totalradshow.com, yes. uh, we got an email here. Uh, if you could, there you go. Thank you kindly. It's from Jeremy Foote. Later, right? Uh, it is from Jeremy Foote. Our, telep <laughs> our teleprompting software is uh, well, it's just oh, a God. laptop, and uh, <laughs> stuff's going down. So Jeremy Foote writes in, hey guys, first off, love the show. We love you too. I've been watching since the beginning. Can't wait to watch every week. My question comes on the heels of the review of Assassin's Creed, which is funny that he mentions that. And also Mass Effect to some. <laughs> uh, I a like <laughs> question. Let's just say that. I, like you three, couldn't wait to play the game. And it's a definitely a letdown. More time for COD 4. Correct. Uh, anyways, what game was a letdown, uh, what game let you down the most in video game history? I'd have to go with Black. We know about the Black. Yeah. Uh, from a few this. years ago. See you, Jeremy. Wayne, Nebraska. Well, that's interesting that you say that. I'm going to say Assassin's Creed was definitely one of those games. I, when I saw it at E3, the, the first time it was playing, I was like, oh my god, this is the game I want to play. Mm -hmm. It's historic, it's, you know, this epic, it's it's a different thing that we've ever seen before. It's stealthy in a way that I, I was excited to try, and mm -hmm. Jade, the way she talked about it, made me really excited about it. The way she looked. The way she looked. It was a PS3 exclusive, and so I was literally one of those things where I was like, God, if it stays a PS3 exclusive, which it won't because it's Ubisoft, so it can but if it stays a PS3 exclusive, which it didn't, which it didn't <laughs> but if it does, I'm gonna, I have to get a PS3. It was that kind of game for me. Yeah. And when I played it, it was hot poop on a stick. It was probably one of the worst games experiences I've had well, in I a very didn't long have time. That experience with it. In fact, I want to go back and finish it because I mean, people have been writing us. I'm almost angry there. and say, Dude, "Hey, the ending is so great." You the ending check it out. won't fix the fact that this game is stupid. In, right. my, in my book. All but right. also I was going to say... Send your letters to Alex, not me. Uh, Jade, email me. Uh, <laughs> nice. I'd love to go back and forth on your game. Uh, we'll just have the box right on the bed. Um, anyway, so, but the other thing I was going to say, big disappointment for me, Dreamcast. I was so the excited system? for the system. I was so excited for it. I loved my Dreamcast. I still have my Dreamcast. No, no, no. The, that, that's what's disappointing is, is that oh, I saw the potential. It, it was so great. I mean, yeah. the tennis. Blue like, Stinger. Just, Blue Stinger, <laughs> which was really bad. But that was, that was on the downside. That was when yeah. I started playing them, and I was like, I just got to buy something. And I bought Blue Stinger, and I was like, the system has yeah. gone daddy boo. Dan, what about you? Before I, I say my answer, remember the, the, when we talked about Black, that game? Yes. I, the funny little outtake? Um, there was, we were talking yeah, about another one. game with the Earth moving. Coming. Yeah, Fracture. Is that Fracture. coming out or? Yeah, 2008. Oh, it's okay. a Lucas Lucas Arts game. Yeah. yeah, I'm excited for it. I just realized. I'm oh my god, when are we going to play that game? game. Um, my answer to this, although man, I just thought of some things, but well, when I was a kid, I loved the arcade. Ooh, two. <laughs> I love the arcade. I love the arcade uh, Tron. I can't wait to see what Steve does to make I know. Like that. I love the shat I love the I love the arcade. Now whatever Steve put up there, you, when you hear what I say, you'll know that that is Steve's <laughs> imagination, not what I was thinking. Uh, All right, what did but, you I love the arcade Tron. It right. had that. Yes. It had the game that in the in the movie was the the disc game that right. they flew. Yeah. yeah. So when I my Intellivision. Which was one of my favorite systems growing up. My brother had an Intellivision, yeah. the fucking paddle with yeah, the yeah, yeah. telephone. And you put the thing in. <laughs> the telephone. Yeah. 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 So we had a television. Uh, many fun games. Frogger was a fun one. Mm -hmm. um, the weird boat one. The weather one. Utopia. Utopia. Yeah, it was, was the weather I one. Could not. Oh, Lock and Chase Love. Okay. Yeah. But Tron Deadly Discs. Yes. Tron Deadly Disc. It's got Deadly Discs in the title. It's got to be the Frisbee. <laughs> the Frisbee. Tell them about the Deadly Discs. <laughs> and it was like not. It, I, I, it was neither deadly nor discus. Yeah, it sucked. <laughs> it was. It just sucked. I also remember Ninja Gaiden, the arcade game, looked awesome, oh, and it I was. wanted to play that so bad. And Nintendo, it came out after the Nintendo one, but I always wish that. You mean the Genesis one? No, that was the NES one too. Oh, NES I remember Ninja playing Gaiden. it on the uh, Genesis, and I loved it. I, I don't remember if it came out I on the Genesis, remember. but it came out on the NES. I you know might that. be thinking of. Yeah, Shinobi. 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 Yeah, Shinobi. Yeah, 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 Shinobi. I was. I was. I was. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff? Oh, my <laughs> well, as I said in our as I said in our video game segment, I kind of tickled you a little um, bit. <laughs> uh, I'm a huge RPG guy. RPGs, role playing games, were my genre. I mean, I started out with The Bard's Tale and Wizardry and Ultima. So when Ultima Nine came out, Ascension, That's and it was going almost. to be Ultima was going to be three trilogies. 
Yeah. Right? And this was going to be the third game of the third trilogy, and it was going to be epic. It was going to have a whole... It was a 3D interactive world in the same way that Ultimate 7 was a top-down interactive world. Right. And I literally rushed out the day of and day of release and bought it, and it was so bad. Huh. In fact, I know that there's even some online people who are who are doing like a, a user modded recreation of Ultima Nine just because they were so disappointed too. It was, it was wow. a huge. Wow. It was bad. It was bad. Oh, you know, you know what I'm gonna say? Yeah, the combat gonna... upgrade of Star Wars Galaxies. Uh, oh, that was the biggest. That was one of the biggest letdowns. There's although <laughs> I've heard uh, swgemu.org that they're actually doing a post combat upgrade ver a server that you can play on. Yeah. So that you can play the original, which you guys should try just to see what I it's like. Yeah, let's try. It's so much fun. Um, I want to say, I just have another one. Sega CD. Mm -hmm. Sega CD was my favorite system growing up. I'm, I'm the only person that beat like every game that came out. I beat <laughs> Sewer Shark. No one else out there beat Sewer Shark. You didn't beat Sewer Shark. Um, <laughs> but there's a game called Supreme Laying Warrior. Down the Sewer Shark Supreme, gauntlet. Supreme. <laughs> Supreme, some kid. Huh? I gotta get screen screen captures. It's FTW. Yeah, yeah. Um, so there's like 30 levels in that game. Okay, right. Supreme Warrior was like first person um, where you punch and kick, you know, and it's all full motion video. Yeah. And you're, I, I, I was like, that. wow, I'm gonna be really fighting a guy in full video. It was like, I mean, as you can imagine, they, you know what they call that now? YouTube. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> really fighting a guy in full video. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Well, thank you so much, Jeremy, for your email. If you'd like to send us an email, you can send it to fans at totallyradshow.com. And that is also where you go. That uh, totallyradshow.com is also where you go to uh, send us cool backgrounds like CJ did. Yep. In fact, uh, it's been a while since we mentioned, you can go to our website and download our logo if you want to do yep. some... Logo esque background, and like we actually have feature. our ba our banner ads are now out. Yeah, so you can put up a banner ad on your website. So oh. if you have a website, slam and a banner so ad. Your out. signature wherever you go, so people know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a fan yeah. Of your and check out our forums. Our forums are on revision3.com. Correct. And uh, that's a great community of people who we love to interact with. And Correct, Amanda. Another way to submit questions to us on our open mailbag forum. Yeah, and when you're over there at Revision Three, you can check out all the other shows. I do another show called Dignation. Yeah, have you heard I of it? fanboy. We love comic yeah, books. Yeah. It's great. Tons of shows. Um, also on the website, uh, look for the rad recommendations. So if there's anything cool that we talked about on the show, it very well may be up there. Mass Effect will be there for you to buy. Yep. Drake's Uncharted. Um, Steve's TV was up there to buy, and it was yeah. on sale. We were all so excited. Oh, I almost got Prob it. Probably a good Frank Darabont movie, like Shawshank Redemption, which is out in a great collector's edition. Maybe the short story, The Mist. Yeah. We're just a, making our list right now. Well, that's a good one. <laughs> I did that. Um, what other social and networking my, sites can we get to? <laughs> MySpace, myspace.com slash totally rad show. That's right. Plus, our baby tea is out, ladies. What? It is did out. Hell out, freeze out. over? It did, slowly and surely. Awesome. Hell has frozen over. It is there. It's out. Head to jinx.com slash TRS, or you can click on the get rad gear on uh, to, uh, totally rad show. Hey, if you if you watch our show and you're a guy and you've already got a totally rad show shirt get and one for or your hoodie, girlfriend. it's the holiday. It's a perfect time for a gift for your loved one. Jingle her bells. Yeah, and then send us a picture. All right. <laughs> well, that's it for this week's edition of Totally Rad Show. I'm Alex Albright. I'm Jeff Kanata. <laughs> Okay, okay, here we go, Jeff. Here we go, Jeff. Let me see some action, Jeff. Here we go. Come on, man. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. One time, Jeff. Here we go. Let's see, Jeff. Let's see, Jeff. Here we go. All right, Jeff. 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 <laughs>